Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at embroidery on the necklines. This is a really trendy way to add a little bit of personality to some ordinary sweatshirts these days. A lot of people are putting them right on the neckline and I thought this was a really cute idea. But in today's video, we're going to really be focusing on how to get this curve just right and a little method, a little cheat way that I came up that worked perfectly on this kids size sweatshirt, but it would work for any size. It's really a goof proof way to get just the perfect curve for your neckline embroidery. So in this video, we're going to be using a brilliant stitch artist. You can do this with stitch artist level one. I do have all the full suite of stitch artists, but level one you can do this very basic feature so let's get started and then i will stitch it out on my brother pr 1055 but if you have a single needle machine you can do this just the same so let's get started all right so the very first thing i did was get a piece of white paper and a ruler and my sweatshirt and i just lined it up so that i could get a really nice look at my shirt i'm going to take my cell phone i'm going to put it on photo and I'm just going to take a picture of the about area that I want, make sure that the ruler's in view, and take a photo. So once you have that done, you're going to email the photo to you or airdrop it to you or however you can get a photo to the computer where you have your Embrilliance Stitch Artist Level 1 at. So let's go over to the computer. Okay, so here we are in, in Brilliance. I have Stitch Artists. I have the full suite of Stitch Artists. You may not have as many buttons as I do, but you will have the image button, which is what we need to do what we're going to do. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on the image button, and you're going to navigate to the photo that you just took. So this is the one that I took when I initially made the sweatshirt. And here is my image. Now I have my grids set up on a one inch grid. So every line represents one inch. This one square is one square inch. If yours is not set up that way, you can go up to preferences, grid settings, and you can set it. I have the inch spacing, horizontal one inch, vertical one inch. All right, so here we are, we've brought our image in. I have my grid set on a one inch grid. So what I wanna do is make sure that this picture is scaled correctly so that when I put my words on there that I know I'm getting the size that I want. So what I need to do is get take one of these inches, either from seven to eight or eight to nine or five to six, whatever you want, and you wanna get it so that the they are equivalent to a one inch box. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to select on the image and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna select my selection tool and I'm gonna move it. And I'm putting the seven inch mark right here on the inch line. And I can see I'm not quite to scale yet. See how that eight is not to the line yet? So I need to stretch that out a little bit more. Move it over seven to eight. I'm still not to scale. So what I'm trying to do is get one inch to be equal to one inch. I'm using my ruler as my reference for scale. Should be getting really close now. All right, you see how the seven lines up with one line and the eight lines up with one line. So now I know that this image is to scale. This is exactly 100% what my image or my sweatshirt looks like in real life size. So now what I'm going to do is go get my text. I'm going to hit text tool. I'm going to type in here, love you. And I'm going to change my text to, and you can choose whatever text you want. I'm using, I believe I used this one and let's see what the 0.75 inch looks like oops let me type my love you again oops there we go all right so now that's the text that I want that size looks pretty good to me uh, I might have to go a little smaller we'll see but 
the first thing we notice is that this is not curved. So we're going to right here, this lets you type it into a circle, text on a circle. We're going to click on that. And then we are going to, you see, if you move this, it's going to do your curve, but we see we're curving in the wrong direction. So what you have to do is say place on the bottom. You want to place that on the bottom of your curve. All right. Now we can pick this up and move it and rotate it. And actually that's really, that's really good. Um, you might have to play with it a little bit but I really like the way that looks. That looks just about the way perfect that I want it. You can play with the spacing here if you want the words spaced a little bit closer, which I think I will. You can make the letter spacing a little bit closer. If you do that, you're gonna have to watch your overlaps on your letters because it's this is darn near perfect. So it's as simple as that. You click the circle, you click place on bottom and then you can adjust the radius. So in this particular instance, this one worked at 136 millimeters or five and three eighths inch radius, but yours may vary depending on how long your word is, how much, um, how many letters it is, how, what font you're using, how wide your font is, whatever you're going to do, but you can adjust this any way you want. If you wanted it a little less curvy, if you wanted it a little more curvy, if you want it, However you want it, that's all I'm doing is that's exactly how it's going to look on my shirt. And I like the way that looks. So now what we need to do is center this to our frame. So I am going to go up here and I am going to click on center design in hoop. That's going to center in the hoop so that when I hit center on my embroidery machine, it's going to be in the correct spot. So if you want, you can go up here to your design, click on that layer, turn it, turn it off so that you're left with just your wording, however you want to do it, but it's centered in the hoop. All you have to do is save this to your flash drive and put it on your embroidery machine and then we'll line things up. So let's get the embroidery machine and the sweatshirt ready. All right. So I'm over at my machine and I'm just going to go home. Let's see. Okay. Going to go to my flash drive, then to get my design. So I've got, I put the sweatshirt in upside down, so I do need to rotate it. So I'm going to go to rotate and I'm going to rotate it once, twice. That's the direction I need. I'm going to click OK. Now, the beauty of this machine is that it has a camera. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to hit edit end. I'm going to hit the camera, it's going to scan it, and it is looking at my machine. So I can see exactly where the design is and where my paper is. So I can move this to match up right with my design, as you can see on the screen. So now I know that this is exactly where I placed my paper. And I love this feature so much. Turn the camera off. And now I know it's exactly where I want it to be. Otherwise, you're going to use your typical lining it up with the needle and your center point. So let me back this up. So if you don't have the camera feature, which I know many of you don't, you can just simply line it up with your crosshair on your printout. Or if you're the type that likes to put your target point right on your fabric with a fabric marker or a sticker, you could also use the snowman stickers with these machines. But however you typically center a design, that's what you're going to do. You can see I did use the camera, but it is lined up. This needle number one is lined up exactly with that crosshair. So the next thing we're gonna do is do a trace and just make sure that we are not going to hit that frame. And we look perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and stitch this out.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is a sweet, sweet little sweatshirt that Evie can wear for Valentine's and well after. It's perfect for any time, really. I do have everything used linked in the description below. Remember when you order Mighty Hoops, if you call in your order and use code never stop making, you'll get free shipping that only works on phone orders. I have the font and everything else listed in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.